Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose and today we're going to be talking about Hi, How You Doing? written by Joyce Carol Oates. Uh, now, before I go into summary analysis of this work, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. If you're a fan of literature, I post um, short stories and content that, you know, that's all about literature um uh, constantly so this is the channel where you need to be um so let's start talking about uh hi how you doing uh by george carol oates um this is a very um uh, i guess it, it, it's a very fast paced um short story um or, or piece i mean it's the sentences are very long. Uh, the narrator is this kind of like observer of what's happening to the characters. Um, and I guess we don't really get characters in this uh, short story. Um, it's kind of like, it's like, you know how when you're watching sports or you're watching a game, uh, and the announcers are kind of like, you know, although you're watching what's happening on the court, the announcers have a lot in, in, in telling you what's happening because they're narrating what's happening on the court. And honestly, without announcers and their excitement and their intonations and the way that they say things and the conversations that they have, sports would be really boring. You know, if sports, if we just took out the announcers and just allowed the game to play, it would just be, you would just only hear a bunch of cheers and, you know, you would see people running and scoring, but the game would be missing a, some sort of level of excitement. And, and that's kind of like the feeling I got while I was reading this. The narrator was like telling me or kind of like a, 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 an announcer um, um, or, you know, when, when a game is playing and, you know, Pretty much, this is all about jogging. the 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 content, the sentences, what's happening in the story, it's all coming at you at once. It's it's all fast, and it's, and, it, and it just throws a lot of information um, at you. Uh, pretty much, there's this uh, white individual, a Caucasian male, that's running, um, that's jogging near a university, um, you know, in a path that a lot of people run and jog um, near this university. And he runs a lot. He's very muscular. There's so much detail in this um, short story, in this piece. Because um, like we're getting descriptions of people's bodies. We're getting descriptions of women's bodies, uh, men's bodies. Like, everybody is... That's one thing that's very interesting about this work is that... Um, the the um, Joyce Carol Oates, what she does is she like tells you like um, she t she gives you details about people's arms, their legs, their body size. Um, like the first female jogger that comes that we're told of, she describes her breasts and she describes her body and, and her mind and where she's at and what she's thinking of. And like that, you know, and I'm like, what does this have to do with the story? Why is she going to so much detail about these people? And it's there's so much being discussed or talked about here that like for one thing the narrator this omniscient narrator because the narrator that we're, we're introduced to or the one that's the per the narrator is telling us the story the narrator knows everything because the narrator is telling us what the people are thinking about the narrator is telling us about their bodies the narrator is telling us about their lives what they have to do i mean there's one there's one professor that comes that the narrator tells us about he, he the narrator basically tells us um the, the professor's life what he's doing tomorrow uh his his relationship with his wife what he thinks of himself um and that you know he sees like in this 60s mid 60s and he's like you know his body's not what it used to be so you know there's so much information coming at you and the thing that's crazy here is that there's this man who is very in shape muscular he's running in this path and he's pretty much interrupting these people he's he's running fast he's you know he's running fast he's in shape and whenever he gets close to people he screams out you know hi how you doing hi how you doing hi how you doing hi how you doing i mean no matter like he's just just hi how you doing hi how you doing back and forth hi how you doing 
Like you're running, and, and a lot of people, when when you're running, you're in your mind, um, you're in your mental palace, you're you're thinking about things. A lot of people, when they're running in the street, or uh, when you're they're running in places built for runners, they're thinking, or maybe they're they're thinking about you know their to do list or what they have to do tomorrow or the next day. And this man is just coming out of nowhere, just screaming, "Hi, how you doing?" There's this one girl on the path where um, she like you know, intentionally makes a way for this man to go by, but, you know, he, he, like, instinctively, like, it's kind of like, he goes out of his way, right? He goes out of his way to say, hi, how you doing to people? And again, especially for women uh, who are jogging, I mean, honestly, I feel like jogging is one of the most scariest things in America. Um, a lot of people, um, you know, meet uh, horrible individuals while they're running. Um, you know, you probably, a lot of people when they're running or jogging in the street, they have their headphones in, they have their music blasting, they're running, they're not paying attention to their surroundings. Um, they're in their minds, they're just jogging, you know, exercising. And there's, there's, there could be some threats on the street. And this, you know, white individual, this white man who's, who's, tall, muscular, well-built, chiseled, you know, he pretty much towers over these, these women, and he's, like, running at them, and some of them, when they see him from afar, they're like, is this, you know, this just the person jogging, or is this a threat, um, and then he, like, you know, essentially gets kind of close, and just, you know, says, hi, how you doing, and that throws a lot of people, um, off because they're thinking, they're in their minds, they're they're thinking about their lives, and then this person they don't know, they've never seen before, is just coming at them, screaming, "Hi, how you doing?" Um, so there's so much detail, and the pace of this is just going and going and going and going, to the point where you know personally, I had to really stop at every sentence and read it one one sentence at a time because each sentence felt like a paragraph. Um, and the amount of detail about each woman and man that this dude meets, it's a lot of detail because we're getting about their, we're, we're getting information about their thoughts, about who they are, about their, their circumstances in life. Um, and they're all on this path. They're all kind of like trying to get in shape or just trying to go about their day. And this man just, just out of nowhere, just keeps interrupting them and, and, um, you know, through to several people just throwing hi, how you doing at them. Um, and at the end of the short story, um, this individual, he just says hi, how you doing to the wrong person. And this this man had a gun on him that's, that's uh, an illegal weapon. It's not registered. And he pulls out his gun and shoots this, this white individual, this, this jogger that's chiseled and, you know, built and uh, uh, muscular and you know this this assailant just like takes out a weapon and executes him and all he was trying to say is hi how you doing and the, the guy i don't know maybe he was startled maybe he was because like sometimes people run to clear their minds sometimes people are going through a time sometimes people are going through situations and i i don't know this guy this individual that he meets on this path the guy goes in to say hi how you doing but this other dude pulls out a gun and shoots him because I mean, he sees a, 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 a you know over six feet individual coming at him, getting close to him, about to say hi, how you doing? And I guess the assailant took it as a threat and then shoots him, and then the the piece just ends with that's how that's how I'm doing. Now, from the get go of this short story, you can already tell that the jogger, the the chiseled. Uh, individual is going to be killed because like the first few lines of the short story we're told the police report said this the police report said this about this man the police report reported this um and and you know what he was wearing and all and all that in the third so that already tells you that this the the, the high how you doing guy is going to die uh he was just at the wrong place at the wrong time saying hi to the wrong person and he dies, and it's kind of, it's insane, because this man who was, like, this model of a human body, you know, strong, well-built, tall, um, like, I mean, it's kind of like, 
in society, the man who's like over six feet tall, well built, um, society kind of builds. That's like the man that women want. That's type like the type of man that people look up to. Um, and and this individual is that strong, well built, muscular, works out. I guess you can even say upbeat. Um, yeah, I mean, he's screaming hi, how you doing to people on this path that he doesn't know. So he's kind of like, you could feel like he's a happy individual greeting people and probably means nothing by it. Just, I guess, trying to be polite and he dies. The, the, the um, individual who shoots him, shoots him on the forehead and blood comes out everywhere and the guy dies. Um, and, and, and honestly, it kind of this short story in terms of like a deeper meaning in terms of what's going on within the short story in terms of analysis you know jogging in recent times has become a dangerous thing um is you know especially for women um you know I, in my opinion i think that um it's probably safer i mean i know freedom is freedom and you should be able to do you know jog wherever you want run wherever you want but I feel like it might be safer to exercise in the gym uh, or, you know, at your home because uh, there's there's so many people who have been attacked while jogging, so many people who have been um, assaulted while, while dro jogging. And especially if you're jogging in a place that's dark or in a place where there's no proper lighting, you know, um, jogging is dangerous for, you know, for African-American men and women. Uh, you know, sometimes you could just be out jogging and, you know, people can think that you're up to something else. Um, so it could be dangerous for women. It could be dangerous for men. It could be different, um, dangerous for different ethnicities. Um, I mean, it's, it's a simple thing, right? I mean, you should have the ability to put on your exercise clothes and run in the street without thinking about any horrible thing happening to you. But more and more each day, people are you know, getting attacked on the streets. Um, and especially the women that appear within um, this piece, there's there's one of them where the description goes like, um, like the woman kind of saw this, this hi, how you doing guy coming. And for an instance, she was kind of like sexually um, shocked or I'm paraphrasing here, like she was sexually shocked, but maybe it was, but then it says, Maybe it was more kind of like a, 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 a fear of, you know, being assaulted, kind of. From my perspective, I feel like it was trying to say, like, maybe she's shocked sexually because she might feel like this person that's trucking towards her and full of energy, pumping arms, just pumping arms and pumping legs coming straight at you, this tall, towering man, and then he's getting close enough to say, hi, how you doing? She's kind of like... Am I going to be safe? Should I move to the side? If, is there something going to happen to me? Um, so, yeah. You know, th this says a lot about jogging culture and, and running in the street culture. Um, and, and just people's minds. I think, for me, I think one of the things that this reveals is, is just how we're all stuck in our heads. I mean, on this path, this hi, how you doing guy... He's running and just interrupting people's, they're in deep thought. They're not even paying attention to their running. There's a guy that's thinking about math. There's a, there's a professor thinking about his life, his wife, his kids, his department, budgeting, finances, his responsibilities at work, at home, society, life. The fact that he's 60, he's in his late 60s and his body is not, you know, producing the physical effort that it used to. There's women thinking about their relationships, their boyfriends, their their love lives, their sex lives. Uh, there's college students worrying about their futures and upward mobility, and everybody's mind is teeming and and thinking and and you know, churning and you know, it, I, from my perspective, I feel like there's there's I thought I thought it was interesting that there was no person on that you know, line of jogging that had pleasant thoughts. Maybe, you know, the hi, how you doing guy was the only individual that had pleasant thoughts, but nobody was like, you know, there was no, when the narrator gave us insight to these people's minds, there was nobody like, I'm happy to be alive. I'm happy to exist. I'm happy to have, to, to, to just be able to run down a path. 
everybody was just teeming with ideas and thoughts about life and the struggles of life and how to make life better and what they were going through and things they had to do, things they had to deal with and hardships. Um, it it, it kind of made it felt like a lot of people run just because they want to not just exercise, but to kind of like think about life, think about the problems, think about what they're going through. Because uh, most of them are jogging, but they're not present. And from my perspective, I feel like that's no way to live. Um, if you really want to live your life, if you really want to experience life, I think you really need to be present in life. And I feel like the more the world goes towards technology, I feel like we are alive, we do exist in the world, but we are not present. Um, you know, most people... You're on your phone when, you know, when you're in class, when you're at work, when, you know, you're always in a digital platform, a virtual world. Um, when you're, you know, like jogging, exercising, you're not there looking and, and feeling the moment, experiencing the moment and tapping into the actual moment. Your mind wanders more now and people, you know, our, our, our ability to, to keep uh, our attention spans are shorter now. Uh, we can't, you know, stay committed to one thing. We we gotta find the next high, the next, um, uh, you know, dose, um, you know, of dopamine, the next um, thing to keep us excited, to keep us um, focused. Um, you know, and, and these people, they're running on down a, a wonderful path. You know, when you're running, when you're exercising, especially outside, like that's one thing. Like I've gone running, but not like in a city or in a path, um, I'll find like a track, right? A track go round and round and, you know, it's it's a place built for running. I don't have to worry about lights and street corners and people bumping into people. If you find a nice track and just run it and just feel the wind and the air and the atmosphere around you and really breathe the air in and breathe the atmosphere in and take in the colors and the sun and, and the sky and just really enjoy and feel running it's a wonderful experience it's it's you know but i feel like an experience like that just to i mean wake up early in the morning find a nice track a, a, a track outside um you know bring yourself a water bottle or something like that and just really Breathe it all in, run, feel the, the wind in your face, uh, you know, feel your body running and, and just be present. Look at the sky, look at the sun, look at your surroundings and just really take nature in. Uh, I feel like a lot of people don't do that and we're just stuck in our minds and our schedules. And um, this guy, I mean, hi, how you doing, guy? He's like running and trying to say hi to people. And life, I mean, I guess in America, we all live packed in cities and in and, and packed states, but I feel like everyone's alone because stranger danger, uh, you don't talk to people unless you have to. Uh, you could live next door to people, but you never have a conversation to them. That, that sense of uh, camaraderie, that sense of togetherness, that sense of community, Everybody's like to their selves, to their online platforms. Um, and, you know, they have their specific cliques and groups and that's it. And I mean, the way that these people ignore each other on this path, I feel like they, they are aware of that. They're aware of people running on this track, but no one is present. Um, everybody's just in their own world, in their own minds. And I mean, this hi, how you doing guy? literally just at the end just disrupted the wrong person okay he said hi how you doing to the wrong person and this person had a gun and just ended his life which is that's terrifying that's terrifying i guess stranger danger does apply here and stranger danger um i mean if that if this guy had applied it maybe he would have um lived longer but yeah, that's that's the story. That's my perspective on it. That's what I get from it. Um, you know, there's always more to it, but you know, this is filled with detail. Um, it looks at people's lives. It looks at individuals. It it gives you a fast-paced jogging. Um, 
an idea of what jogging is and, and the dangers of jogging and, and um, what goes into it. Uh, and, I mean, it even plays with minorities and, well, it doesn't specifically mention minorities, but I feel like from my own perspective and what I've known that's, that's in the 21st century, what's happened with jogging and minorities, um, there's several layers to this work and what it means and, and, and uh, what's represented here. But that's those are all my thoughts and my ideas on it. Uh, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.